In this video, I'm going to introduce Laguerre polynomials. And Laguerre polynomials are defined in this way. They're defined as L sub n, so the nth Laguerre polynomial is given by e to the x over n factorial times the nth derivative with respect to x of this product right here, x to the n e to the minus x. Okay, um, so this is our definition right here. And the way to think about this, or at least the way that I sort of visualize what this is saying is that it's looking at this function right here, after you take n derivatives of it, what is that polynomial out in front? Well, what, what is the polynomial coefficient of e to the minus x? Um, so we can look at a couple exa of examples with that in, in order to see what, what really I mean by that. Uh, so the first example and the easiest example is uh, n equal to 0. So what, what exactly do we get when we choose uh, uh, n to be equal to 0? Well, in that case, we have x to the 0, 0, 0th derivative divided by 0 factorial. So we just have e to the x times e to the minus x. And that's going to be equal to 1. All right, so uh, not too bad. Let's do something a little more challenging. Uh, L sub 1 of x, what's that going to be equal to? Well, um, let's write it out. So we're going to have uh, e to the x, 1 factorial, and then the first derivative, first derivative of x, e to the minus x. Okay, so we just have to work out this product rule right here. And so what do we get? Well, if we do a product rule here, we're going to get e to the minus x minus x times e to the minus x. And this whole thing right here can be written like this. 1 minus x times e to the minus x. Okay, and so now we, we're starting to see what's happening here. So uh, what this Laguerre polynomial is, is doing is, right, is it's, it's uh, we have this e to the x out in front, and then we have this, this thing right here, which is going to be a polynomial multiplying e to the minus x. And we have this e to the x out in front exactly so that way it, it can cancel out with this e to the minus x, and all that we have remaining is this polynomial right here. Uh, so let's do another example um, with 2, with n equals 2. So if we do n uh, L sub 2 of x, what's that going to be equal to? Well, now we have this n factorial to worry about. So we have uh, e to the x over 2, and then a second derivative here. Second derivative of x squared e to the minus x. Okay, um, so let's do this out. So we're going to have... Um, and we can actually, I mean, we, can, we can take the, the first derivative, um, and what are we going to get? We're going to get 2x e to the minus x minus x squared e to the minus x. Okay, uh, take this second derivative now. What are we going to get? We're going to have e to the x over 2 times, uh, times what? Well, if we do this guy, we're going to have uh, 2 times e to the minus x minus 2x e to the minus x. Then we do this term right here, uh, we're going to get what, minus 2x e to the minus x plus x squared e to the minus x. Okay, great. And so this whole thing right here can be written as 1 half e to the x times, times some big polynomial. So what do we have? We have 2 minus 2x minus 2x, that's minus 4x plus x squared. And then an overall e to the minus x right here. And so this whole thing right here, when we cancel out these uh, e to the x's, we have what? We have one half, and then our polynomial. We have two minus four x plus x squared. And you can keep uh, doing this over and over, you know, for higher and higher n. And I'll, and I'll just I'll just show you what you get for uh, n equals three. For n equals three, you get one over six corresponding to that n factorial right there. And then you have uh, the polynomial six minus 18x plus 9x squared minus x cubed. Okay, so we can see, so, so, so I hope the intuition here is sort of clear that, that, that this Laguerre polynomial is just looking at uh, whatever, whatever this, this polynomial is, this polynomial um, that is your coefficient of e to the minus x, when you do out this, this, big, this big derivative right here. Um, so I think I'll probably stop here. Um, in the next video, I'm going to look at a different way of representing Laguerre polynomials that comes directly from this. 
And in particular, I'm going to I'm going to look at a way of rewriting this this guy right here as a series, which is actually going to be, I mean, arguably even nicer than this, because um, it's going to combine everything that we love about series into one expression. Uh, so I hope to see you in the next video.